Taliban bans contraception, citing Western conspiracy con to control Muslims. Recently, the Taliban stopped the distribution of contraceptives in two of Afghanistan's major cities, claiming that their use by women is part of a quote-unquote conspiracy by Western countries to control the Muslim population. According to The Guardian, Taliban fighters are going door-to-door -door demanding pharmacies to stop selling birth control and even threatening midwives. The Taliban's Ministry of Public Health hasn't issued any official statement on the ban yet. Many activists criticized the move and have called on the Taliban to follow international agreements which allow for the universal access to sexual and reproductive health care. Ustad Faridun, a Taliban official based in Kandahar, stated that contraceptions are occasionally necessary for a woman's health, and he said that he doesn't support a total ban. So I want to unpack this really quickly. Because before we make a judgment, we need to have full, fully informed, you know, decision or information. So, the Guardian came forward with this report about how they have been interviewing people in different pharmacies around Kabul and different midwives who say that this is the worst time that they've ever had to deal with the environment in Afghanistan in their career. Um, that they are, are pharmacists are scared to give out medications. Um, they've come to you know, like come to my store twice with guns, were threatening me for sending. It, send it. It's mainly the contraceptive pills, is seems to be the main thing that they're after, or the um, the shots that you can get. There's lots of different kinds of hormonal birth control. One of them is a shot, common one is a pill, um, and um, they're like we're we're too afraid to even sh stock the injections, you know, and um, they're threatening midwives, all these things, and. They even interviewed a young teen mother who said that she'd been secretly using contraceptives to try to, you know, control her own health, space out how many children she has. She had to stop her education to get married and have children. And she wanted to her daughter to have more options. Right. And she was saying with this new ban, I, I don't see a different I wanted a different future for my daughter. And I don't see that. But what's important to consider is that after the Guardian made published this article stating that they interviewed all these people about this, a different organization called the National News published a retort. They said, according to their research, of three pharmacies visited in Kabul, no such orders were received, and the spokesperson for the Taliban's Ministry for Prohibiting Vice and the Promotion of Virtue, um, this minister told this, this reporter that the Guardian's report is fake news. So we are getting conflicting reports on this particular news item. I want to be clear about that because it's important that, you know, we are transparent and well-informed with our audience. Um, and also, I need to give a special thank you and shout out to Dee, our lovely, lovely editor, for tracking down this news item from National News, calling this fake news. Because Dee is our very good editor and this she takes her job seriously, okay? Everyone say thank you, Dee, in the live chat. Thank you, Dee helps keep us informed. Anyways, so now that we have all this information, different sides of the story, let us unpack. So my opinion is, I think the, the answer, this is speculation, I think that the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. I, I would speculate to think that yes exactly d d and i think the same d is saying i think both can be true we have some rogue talibs we, we probably have some individuals who are talibs going around enforcing this donish june hi what are you doing here <laughs> sorry i got distracted um so Anyways, so I think that it, this is probably some individuals going around and scaring some people who are operating some pharmacies and some midwives. Because Islamically, you are actually allowed to use contraceptives. Islamically, you're allowed to have abortions. It's more permissive than Catholicism. So even the ministers of these um, different uh, Taliban agencies are saying, well, actually, that isn't Islamically forbidden. Like, so that's not right. I don't support that ban, da, da, da. So I think it's probably some just people going around and scaring people. Um, what do you think, Armin? Yeah, sounds like, you know, when I say Rogue Talib, sounds like the previous news uh, with the gassing of the schools and stuff, you know. 
a rogue mm. and you know it's not necessarily part of the official regime but yeah 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 but yeah yeah you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary japanese god greek gods and much much more click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art